The aim of this video is to teach you how to use the EasyShop appliance. It will also allow you to understand our method and to keep your instruments in perfect working order throughout their life cycle. The Depler method relies on two key elements. One, the sharpening follows the structure of the steel and the curve of the blade. And two, maintaining a precise angle. Steel has a structure similar to that of wood. It is important to respect this structure and therefore sharpen by following it. You will then create a smoother surface and plane the blade's cutting edge. The cutting edge lasts longer thanks to this method. Here's an example of poor sharpening. The instrument has multiple facets and the blade's cutting edge is serrated. To you, the blade will appear to be extremely sharp, but the micro teeth quickly become blunt and the instrument must be sharpened more often. After sharpening with the Easy Sharp, you will obtain this result. Don't hesitate to look at the tips of your instruments with a magnifying glass to check their state before and after sharpening. You will need the following the Easy Sharp appliance the table of angles and movements, a black rubber spacer supplied with the appliance, sharpening oil, a test stick, and of course the instruments you want to sharpen. Start by putting a few drops of oil onto your stone and spread it around using a clean cloth. This simple gesture will guarantee an optimal surface condition for your blades. For angles close to zero, add a spacer to raise the stone. Let's take the M23 Universal Scaler. Put the instrument on the support and adjust it according to its length. It must be able to turn on itself, but mustn't move back and forth. Look for the reference M23 on the list. The first angle is 2 degrees to the left. Adjust the angle as indicated and block it by tightening the screw. Check that the angle you have adjusted corresponds to the cutting edge you want to sharpen. With this adjustment at 2 degrees, you have to lift the instrument to be able to put the blade on the stone. Check the movements to be made with the stone on one hand and with the instrument on the other. For the M23 scaler, turn the instrument on itself alternately to follow the curve of the blade and slide the stone from the bottom up following the rectilinear movement. Don't forget that with this adjustment of 2 degrees, you have to lift the instrument to be able to place the blade on the stone. Use the same method to sharpen the second cutting edge. Adjust the angle, check the movements, and perform for both sides. The sharpening of an M23 scaler can be done in 45 seconds. Check the angle. Check that the blade is well positioned on the stone and perform the movements as indicated. To know what side goes with what angle, you can use the drawings that show the instrument's positioning. Now let's take a Gracie 5-6 curette. 
The method is the same. Find the corresponding reference on the list, adjust the angle, check the blade's position on the stone, and the movements to be performed. Always bear in mind that you want to follow the curve of the blade. The sharpening of a Gracie 5 6 curette is carried out in less than 30 seconds. To save time, sort your instrument by item number and sharpen the same instrument one after the other to avoid having to adjust the angles too often. Repeat the operation with Gracie 1314 curette. Fix the instrument, adjust the angle, refer to the drawing that shows the instrument's positioning on the stone. Check the movements of the stone and those of the instrument. Thanks to the EasyShop appliance, your instruments will be as good as new until the end of their life cycle. Try it, you'll be able to appreciate your instrument longer.